So welcome guys to another session. In this we will try to cover the remaining PTQs and MCQs. In our earlier lesson we have uh, completed the visual principles PTQs. In this we will try to cover the spatial intelligence intelligence portion one by one. So if you haven't uh, listened to our spatial intelligence lessons, please have a look on that. So you will get an idea as to what kind of questions we will be covering in this session. The links of the previous lessons are mentioned in the description box below. Right. So let's look into the syllabus overview of part A. So here mm, we will cover the geometry and shape visualization, object visualization and little bit geometrical puzzles. So we will be dealing with this particular section in this lesson. Right. So let's look into the first question uh, in this session. So this is a typical shape visualization example. So whenever such questions on shape visualization or object visualization comes, the key here is to uh, make a quick sketch of the question or the image that they are asking on a, on your rough sheet. So this would give you a lot of freedom in uh, rotating and checking with the options. So uh, I recommend this uh, to the listeners. Uh, if you're able to do it straightforward, then it is well and truly good. But uh, doing the sketching also helps you to cross check quickly. It helps you to save uh, crucial time. So in this case, there are as many as uh, uh, four right answers. So each answer will be giving you four marks. So total, this question might carry 16 marks. So this would be asked in the question two, three, four of the part A Nata exam. Right. So kindly pause the video and uh, have a look at it and uh, I will be displaying the answer after a couple of seconds. Right. So hope you have uh, got the answer. So as in this case, there were four right answers. There were one, four, five and six. So the key here whenever you attempt such questions is to make a quick sketch on your rough sheet and try rotating them and try matching in matching them with the options right so let's look at the second question again it is a, a shape visualization question so try again sketching this image and try rotating it and see if it is matching with it with the uh, options. So again, pause the video and I will be displaying the answers after a couple of seconds. So hope you have got the answers. Uh, try practicing. Even if you get few errors, it doesn't matter. But these are relatively simpler examples and you can expect a little more complex questions to come in the exam, right? So let's look in the third question. So this is an example of object visualization type. So the idea in which we solve is pretty much the same. So we you try to visualize this particular image in your mind and try to rotate it and see if it is matching with the particular options. <clears throat> so initially it might be tricky. So the key here, whenever uh, such questions are asked, the key here is to visualize it from different directions. Try to look from here, try to look from here and try to twist it around and memorize it and slowly and steadily you'll be able to get in you the answer you can also use the method of elimination for example some of the uh, 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 elements may not be actually matching with the option so you can actually count and see if it is uh, matching with the original image right so again pause the video and i will be displaying the answers after a couple of seconds so again, there are four answers to this question. So even if you are not getting it, it's okay. Uh, slowly uh, try sketching out objects by your own and you you yourself try to visualize the same object from different angles, etc. So this will make your process much more simpler when you are in the actual exam. Right. So let's look into the fourth question. Again, it is an example of object visualization type. So again, try to sketch it or you can use the method of elimination and try to eliminate certain options. If you are 
clear that there are actually four right answers if it is actually given in the question paper so try to visualize it from different angles try twisting around try eliminating also you yourself can practice by making your own objects right you can visualize you can start with a simple uh, object and try to rotate it from different directions and you can actually draw those uh, objects by yourself when you are in your free time so again pause your uh, pause this video and try answering the questions and i will be answering uh, telling the answers after a couple of seconds right so hope you have got the uh, answers so again there are four right answers here this is a tough question but it's okay uh, if you don't get one or two you can always visualize by sketching it out and uh, by sketching your own small small objects you can start with a small uh, l object like a l shaped object then you can try adding things and then you can try visualizing it from different sides so uh, from the exam point of view now that there is no drawing test you can actually expect uh, uh, the nata to ask such questions right so keep practicing so the fifth type of question is again another object visualization type so in this case there is only one right answer so the they are asking to follow this pattern so as you can see a particular object was there they have rotated at particular angle so as you can see they have taken an axis like this and they have tried uh, rotating it as you can see this particular uh, area is here and then it got shifted to here so as you can see they are following a particular direction of rotation from here to here to here so as you can expect this then they are asking what will happen in the next case so that you have to check the how much is the degree of tilt you have to imagine right so it has that if the tilt is much more then it can end up somewhat like this or it may be like this or so it's up to you to decide so kindly pause the video and have a look at it and try to solve it so hope you have got the right answer so the right answer is c so uh, it is pretty much simple so there is a particular uh, direction in which there's a particular degree of tilt right so in the case of d the tilt was very much large so uh, confusion might come in whether it is d or c but actually if you look at the other options there was a particular uh, degree of tilt so that degree of tilt we have to visualize and give it to here this particular case only then we will get the answer c right So let's look in the sixth question so in this case they are asking you to find out which particular shape has the largest area so they have actually not given any clue as to what is the length of a particular side or a small section of a square so the idea is here to make uh, rough sketches right so you can actually make rough sketches and you try to demarcate the image into small small sections right so once you do that you can you can make uh, lines like these right so once you work out you can individually count the squares right so you can the same concept you can apply it for the other options so in this way you count the squares and you see which one has the uh, which one is most in number so you can actually say that particular shape has the largest area right so hope you have got the right answer so the right answer is actually d so if you have uh, done the uh, cutting and counting you would have you would have definitely uh, found out that d has somewhere around 42 uh, numbers and this is somewhere around 34 37 and 33 so uh, you can expect such questions to come in the exam right so this is a, an, yet another question on shape visualization so in this they are asking they have given a particular uh, cutout shape so and they are asking you which particular shape among the options will fit into or which or it will coincide or it will match with the particular so it is very simple you can again you can try twisting the options and try inserting them so this is again a simple and straightforward one so again pause and uh, answer the question right 
So yes, the correct answer is C. Uh, as you can see, it is very much simple. You just have to twist it and see. It is very simple one, right? So let's look into the eighth question. So it is again another type of a geometrical puzzle, or you can call it a kind of shape visualization. So they are trying asking you to merge these two uh, images. So what will be the resultant image? So again, it is a very uh, simple one and a straightforward one. So idea here is you to uh, fix it. Okay, so you can fill fill the gaps. So you can apply the concept of fill in the fill in the blanks. So this gap is there. So this thing will come and fill it. So you have to mentally perceive that yes somewhere like this might be the off uh, answer so anyway this won't be the answer right so one among these three will be the answer so like that you try to fill in the gap so this will come here so so apply the that particular method you pause the video and again i will uh, say the answer at the after a couple of seconds So yes, I think you might have got the correct answer. So the correct and correct answer is A. Uh, if you have done the process of fill in the blanks correctly, uh, you would have got the right answer, right? So let's move on. So this is the ninth question. So this is another type of shape visualization or a puzzle kind of thing. So here in this case, they are giving you a set of uh, images so there is some kind of transformation that might have happened when this came to here and this came to here so that particular thing if you find out you will definitely be able to answer the question so you have to fill the question mark so one among these options would be coming here right so hope you have got the right answer so the right answer is b so yes uh, as you can see these particular uh, colors were fixed right so but this alone kept on changing so these five were fixed in all the cases but this came here in this particular case then it went here so there is a particular uh, track that this particular color was following so it came to here it came to here so in the next case you definitely be coming it will be following this particular track so uh, this is the case where it felt so definitely the right answer will be b right so this is how you solve so in exam also don't try to panic when such a question comes try to be calm and cool and uh, remain focused right so we have come to the last question in the series so this is again an object visualization type so this is a little bit tricky and a complicated one so take your time and uh, I'm, i will not be uh, uh, saying the answer you can comment it in the comment box and i will say if it is right or wrong so i can also understand how many of you are actually uh, listening and uh, working out the examples right so uh, in this particular series there were few lessons that have skipped so for example folding uh, etc so cube uh, cube puzzles etc so those puzzles you have to check out our previous uh, videos on spatial intelligence uh, there are five videos all the links are mentioned in the description box these are very very important right uh, in the from the exam point of view because it fetches you as much as, as much as 48 marks so um, it is very crucial so try uh, if any of the concepts you have missed try uh, looking into those videos and uh, we have also included a few techniques and tricks right so in the end all these things matter right so uh, keep updating guys we will definitely try to help you in any case you can always uh, mail us in our mail id if you have any individual concerns even after nata right so uh, stay happy and stay safe right